Welcome to Meet the Expert series. I'm Rachel Leonard, Editorial Director of the Bridal Council, and I'm beyond excited to be speaking to my old friend, John Dolan, photographer. His, John has influenced a generation of contemporary wedding photographers. He is an artist who chose weddings as his subject. His work has been published in major magazines with clients from Johnny Cash to Gwyneth Paltrow. He just published a book that's amazing called The Imperfect Imperfect, published by Damiana Editions, an intimate exploration of the American wedding. Welcome, John. So great to see you. Thanks for the introduction. It's great to see you again. It's, it's really been too it's, long. It has been too long. We worked together in our past, and um, I've always been a huge fan of yours uh, on the side. I'll never forget uh, Darcy Miller of, of, of Martha Stewart Wedding said she, she wasn't gonna book her wedding till she had you as your photographer. So that's like the ultimate compliment. So John, as an artist, you are one of the game changers in the wedding industry. Describe your philosophy of taking pictures. Um, uh, my main philosophy is to photograph what it felt like at the wedding rather than what it looked like. So the I'm, I'm not a uh, precise photographer. I'm a person who can feel the beat of a wedding, feel the pulse, feel the emotion. And my real goal is to bring back pictures that you look at in 20 or 30 years and uh, you can feel that night and the music, you can hear it, you can smell it. Uh, so I'm trying to capture that ephemeral element that exists at a wedding uh, and then disappears the next morning. It's always kind of an extraordinary thing that weddings only exist for that one moment. Uh, so my job is to capture that, almost bottle it. It is, I was just gonna say, it's like a perfume. <laughs> yes, exactly. Very emotional, uh, your pictures and they're um, soul searching and you tell the truth about a wedding, whether it's good or bad. Tell me about, Tell me about the title of the book and the book itself. So uh, the, the title of the book is The Perfect Imperfect. And it's, it's really talking about um, that life is complicated, marriage is complicated, and the, the range of emotions in most wedding pictures is quite narrow. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I've, tr I've seen over the last 30 years that Weddings have a lot more depth to them and a lot more layers. And the best pictures that ring true are the pictures that are slightly off kilter, slightly unguarded. So, you know, I used to compare two frames next to each other, the kind of straight shot and then the more emotional picture. And the more, uh, the less perfect picture often told uh, the truth and hits you in a different part of your, uh, of your soul. So, they're, it's not just blurry pictures or shooting fast. It's it's trying to capture that uh, that one glance or that uh, moment that wasn't so choreographed. Uh, so that's always been my approach to to collect Im images rather than direct them. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, a wedding itself is so emotional, and so much is going on, and um, politics and everything uh, there and just the stress of it and then the joy of it and um, and then you know you have the classic photographer who does cookie cutter pictures and yeah you want to record who's there but you really tell the story. Um, that's what some people miss is that it's uh, that there's so much going on and if you keep your eyes open photographer sees everything. So we have this opportunity that that I, I'm pushing photographers to keep their eyes open to the full range of what's going on at a wedding, not just the things on the shot list. So the ritual of a wedding is transcended in your pictures. I mean, we kind of just spoke about it, but I guess we just, just answered that, how basically how, how that is. Well, well I think that... Um, it's a funny thing in America that we don't have that many rituals that we celebrate. We have the 4th of July, we have Super Bowl Sunday, we have, you know, graduation or bar mitzvah, but uh, weddings are kind of unique 
And I think I see a lot of people who are slightly uncomfortable at weddings that they're not used to giving speeches or they're not used to the emotions coming to the surface. So it's, it's fascinating to photograph people who are thrown off by the solemnity of it. You know, you think it's just going to be a party, but all of a sudden it gets very real. It does. Exactly. It does get very real once you're going through it and, it's it's an it's an incredible thing. No matter how many weddings you, I go to, I always get teary eyed. Um, right. Tell me, do you interview the couple? Are you selective with your couples? I thought once you told me that you know they didn't you didn't feel like they were really in love with each other. Tell me about your selection. Or there's well, like, uh, yeah, it's a, it's it's really a meeting of the minds, but. Uh, I try to limit myself to 12 weddings a year. So I'm, I'm trying to find those people who uh, are looking for an understated approach and not being directed. And I'm looking for trust. So that's really the core of my relationship with the couple that they trust me to come to their wedding and bring back pictures that are meaningful and they're not going to micromanage me. They're, they're, they, they, they know that this is what I do and they have faith that I'll get the pictures. So they're not overly concerned with uh, keeping track of everything. And uh, so, you know, once I know that people believe in my approach, then I aim for the stars and, uh, and it's really a fantastic relationship. Do they hire a second photographer or do you hire a second photographer to do the shot list and you do the emotional you know, that's, it's an interesting thing that's changing a little bit in, in the industry. Some wedding planners know that I'm not a detail person, mm -hmm. so they'll bring a detail photographer for an hour before the reception to do the tables and things. <clears throat> and I think that's fantastic. Uh, big weddings, over 200, I'll bring a second shooter. But I love the intimacy of just going by myself and sitting it uh, the cousin's table or, you know, getting to know people in a different way. And I'm shooting from the inside rather than the outside. So you blend in more with the crowd, more with the guests than the, the, over the, here and get in the way. And... Yeah. The best compliment I ever got was when somebody came over to me and said, who are you, a cousin? <laughs> like, that's like, perfect. Yes, that's, yeah. Yeah. Um, so what are some of the challenges of shooting a wedding? Uh, you know, I, I just came back from a wedding and I'm prepping for one, uh, leaving tomorrow for another wedding. And I think each, each wedding is kind of a miracle that they happen at all, that all the people arrive and, um, and that the way I shoot the wedding is kind of a high wire act because I, I take risks and I, I have this mantra that playing it safe is failure for me. So I, I do try to push myself, keep it fresh because I've done this for so long. Sure. Um, but like a good high wire artist, I, I know my, how to keep balance and not fall. And, uh, so it's the, the challenges are um, how to make something extraordinary at this one moment that only exists on that day. So uh I think it's the biggest risk is just being bringing back boring pictures that don't have spirit and don't have the heart. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. I mean, it's, it's a one shot deal, literally live. Right. Um, and what do you find is the most rewarding part? Uh, with, with most of my clients, certainly the ones who are in New York or in the area, six weeks, seven weeks after the wedding, I meet in person with them and I un unveil the pictures. I give them a box of prints and I, that unveiling process is unbelievably rewarding because they don't know what's in the box. And uh, the process of waiting six or seven weeks makes that anticipation. So, you know, they're looking at these pictures and I think a, th a lot of things come flooding back to them and, you know, just watching people relive their wedding is, is incredibly rewarding. And it's almost like the pictures solidify their memories mm -hmm. that have been kind of waiting to solidify. <laughs> you know, people <laughs> get a lot of iPhone pictures. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, 
we are we we remember things because of photographs these days, and uh, so I take that responsibility seriously. And do you so you shoot alone, and do you use film? Do you use digital? What do, how do you shoot? I use both. I use film. Uh, I use digital when the light gets kind of less dreamy. Um, digital's really good in in low light and. Um, but I still, I've always been a film photographer since our magazine days and uh, I can load a camera fast and the richness of film is, is really central to my work. So uh, I love it. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to see you again and to uh, discuss your work and everybody go out and buy your book. Where's your book available? Um, I, I'm sure Amazon has it, I'm sure bookshop.org has it or Damiani editions.com has it as well. And bookstores around the country should be having it in the next couple of weeks. It's been slightly delayed by the shipping delays, but it's on coming a container. Out. <laughs> <laughs> it's arrived. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, okay. Thank you so much, John. Great to see you. Great to see you, Rachel. Thanks. <laughs>